I'm starting to understand why the shuttle is so popular here at Lake Leatherwood Downhill Trails. It's not a terrible fire road climb. And that's pretty cool. But it is a fire road climb nonetheless, and parts of it are pretty steep. That's the apparent Miner's Rock the trail's named for. Which I guess I should say. I'm riding up Miner's Rock Trail to get to the trail hubs for the downhill project. Or whatever it's called, like Leatherwood Downhill Trails. It's kind of cool, it reminds me of being in Colorado a little bit. Definitely understand why people would pay for a show. I can't believe I made that. I'm not in shape for that. So this is pretty cool. I just came up to a part of the trail where Miner's Rock intersects with one of the downhill trails, it looks like. What do we have here? Big rock skinny on the downhill trail. Oh, and this is an option line for a huge drop. And then to a big double. Sick. A little well above my bravery level, but... Oh, here's the drop we just rode through, the down below my bike. So there's my bike, it is like a third the height of the drop. Here's the landing. Super cool. I sure hope I'm still on. Rock. somewhere. Yeah, I probably didn't. I don't know. First time out. As long as I'm on a trail, I'm not too lost, right? So people might think I am if they came across me talking to myself in the middle of the woods on a mountain bike. Ready to here. Big G out. See? Another big G out. Wait. This is cool. This is really cool. I don't even know that down here for yet. Woohoo! Watch the first tire instead of talking. I think it's rock solid trail construction to build these trails. I have to say, so far rock solid. Cool. Here's the moment I've been waiting for. My first downhill trail hub ever. <laughs> That'll figure it out. 
Try to do five or try to do four. Let's look at Troll Forks and see what we're going to do. So this is the north hub on the Lake Leatherwood downhill trails. Looking down DH5 here. DH4 here. This is Miner's Rock multi-use trail that way, which is how I got up here. DH7 starts off with a little skill catcher, a little rock drop. Goes down into a double black, big jumps everywhere, big drops. Then we come to the green trail, DH6 right here. Pretty cool hub. And then the south hub, back down Miner's Rock the way that I came. It's all black diamond trails. I wanted to start with a blue for my first time out here, so I think we're going to try downhill five. Well, this is the excuses part. It's my first time out here, first time seeing this trail riding blind. I've spent, I've been here since about noon, it's about four o'clock now. Doing a lot of filming with my buddy David for a video you may have already seen already. And then I rode the climb trail up so I wasn't prepared to pay the shuttle today. So lesson learned. Next time I'm out here, budget more time and budget some dollars for the shuttle. But now I've got all my excuses out of the way. I guess let's hit this trail and see how she goes. Fitness for dirt bike racing when I lived in Oklahoma City. This is my first proper downhill mountain bike trail. That's freaking sweet. I will say, hardtail handling it. Put way too much higher pressure in my back tire. So, just to be safe. That looks gnarly. What looks good here? That's definitely sendable on a day where I'm not riding like a baby. Oh, buddy. Hope I didn't just make that worse. Awesome. Definitely got to get shuttle pass. I need this stuff a whole lot more. That's cool. Should have eaten better before I came too. Oh, 
pretty thin. So far. Everything seems rollable so far. Heck yeah. I regret going on a nine mile cross country ride Sunday now though. That was super cool. Only ridden one trail out here. I fully recommend you come ride me. Oh man, back at the start. Now I know what BKXC means by pain and pleasure, that was sick.